The concept of total differentials is explained in this video and it has its economic applications as well. However, in this video we will lay down the foundation of this concept so that we get enabled to apply it on economic situations in the upcoming videos. So the total differential is what we are talking about and uh, the situation is very simple whenever we have more than one independent variables the effect on the dependent variable will be divided into parts. So it is to differential it means that it is going to change uh, measure the change and that change can be due to x as well as due to y. So the effect from both of them will be added to give us the total effect. So total differential in other words is actually total change. So let's get to the formula of it. This is change in z which is equal to the derivative of the function while keeping y constant with respect to x into dx. So this dx will be there because you know the derivative, uh, uh, the denominator in the derivative term dx comes with the differential. And again the derivative of the same function while keeping x constant with respect to y multiplied with dy that is the uh, denominator of the derivative is brought to the other side because we know how we calculate a differential. In a differential we only keep the uh, dif uh, dx or dy or dz on the left hand side. So this is the formula of the total differential. So rather writing the whole derivative I can write this zx. Again for all of this term I can write zy while keeping the dy and dx as they are. So they are kept as they were. So this is a more friendly way of writing the total differential. Now we should do a numerical example to find out that how we can apply it on numerical situations. Total differential is basically in other words uh, in the light of this equation the total part uh, the it is the sum of the partial differentials with respect to each independent variables. These are the partial differentials of the given function with respect to x and with respect to y. So I have the formula and I know that uh, I simply need to find out the different uh, the derivatives with respect to the given variables and then I can put them into this formula. So I am given a function, it is in terms of x and y, as you can see in the given equation, both x and y are present. This is the formula for which I need zx and zy, the calculations are required. zx can be found simply by differentiating it with respect to x and the answer will be this. zy can be calculated by differentiating the given function with respect to y and the answer will be this. We know how to partially differentiate the functions, we have done this before. So I assume that you already know how to do it. Now we are in a position to put these values into this formula. So zy is being put here and zx is being put here. As a result dx and zy they appear here in the boxes whereas the, the value of dx and dy it is as it is, no change in it. Now I can interpret the answer because the answer says that the change in x is basically the total differential of the given function that is change in z if I if I mis uh, termed it it is change in z. The change in z is the total differential of the function which was this this was equal to z and it was based upon x and y. It is basically uh, the total differential in which there is a contribution of x and there is a contribution of y. They are com in a combined way affecting the um, overall value of z. This should be z, this is dz that is change in z due to x. So the change uh, is brought not just by x but by y and it is 
summed up and we get the total differential. So this is how we interpret a total differential. In the coming videos, we will learn about the economic applications where we will make economic sense of the total differentials. Thank you.